Hi there. In this video, I will talk about the ranking in Python's data frame. So ranking is a common procedure whenever you are doing any data manipulation or trying to figure out uh, whether, say for example, profit is high or low based on some sort of ranking or even sometimes management, are, management is interested in knowing what are the top 10 products or bottom 10 products and things like that. And for that, you need to do the ranking. So I will show you how you can rank the data and then we will just go through some of its parameters to further fine tune your ranking. So first of all, uh, importing the pandas libraries as always and then use the data frame which is uh, orders sheet. I am continuously using this data set. And in the first few videos, even I have shared the data set, but I will paste the link over in this video as well so that you can use it. All right. So what we are doing here is, over here is uh, we are reading the Excel file using the PD dot. So PD is coming from here, PD dot read underscore Excel. And we are reading the first sheet, which is the order sheet in this workbook. So once we are done with that, let's see the first two observations. So had is helpful in viewing the first five observation if we are not specifying anything over here. But if we specify any number, let's say two in this case, then it will show the two observations, first two observations from the data frame. All right, let's execute this. And uh, here we have the columns from this data frame. Since it has a lot of columns, some of the columns have been hidden. And uh, we can see we have sales, discount, profit. And now you can do the ranking based on these numeric columns. So for example, you want to see the top sales or top two sales, and things like that. Then you can first rank and then use the hat. Similarly, if you want to see the profit uh, for by customer or by province or region or similar or simply like profit, where is the maximum profit coming from? Simply not by any dimension, but you know, sorting it or uh, ranking it from the perspective that where is the highest, wherever it is highest uh, profit, just give it a first rank. So how you can do this is by using the rank method. So first of all, I will, what I'll do is I will simply say that orders dot rank, rank is a function and it has some argument. If I show you, like uh, it has access method numeric only any underscore option and you can see this all these argument by pressing shift and two times tab so shift tab tab and it will show you these arguments and then it has some definitions as well if you go down and all all right so if i simply say orders dot rank that means simply apply the rank in the entire on the entire data set on on the entire columns so if i just go ahead and execute that it will take uh, all of these uh, columns that it has along with province regions convert into a numeric whatever the numeric form is and do the uh, ranking in the ascending order but this is a bit complex if you try to interpret it so that's why you always have the option of taking any um, column in this case let's say profit uh, taking any column and then do the ranking and apply it on the data set. All right. So for that, let's create a column uh, rank by profit so that it becomes part of this data set and then say orders. And then you need to specify the column name, which is profit and then say rank. All right. Now, if I show you the arguments again by pressing shift tab tab uh, by default ascending is true. That means lowest value will be ranked first. So what we will do is we will say ascending is equals to false. And in that way, the highest value will get the rank first. All right, let's go ahead and execute that. So it's executed and uh, let's see orders dot head first few observe five observations okay so here we have minus two one three if i show you a couple of more rows then 457 
and uh, then you have 46 1198 and then 30 and if I go towards right these are the respective rank so 555 triple five is giving to the profit of 1198 and uh, lower rank to 30 three to four eight so that's in a right direction if we want that highest value should be ranked first and if I show you the column name by going up rank by profit has now become part of this data frame now the next logical question that can come into the mind is uh, sorting these ranks so generally we want to see the first rank uh, coming over here then the second rank and then the third rank so for that uh, you can use the sort underscore values so if I say orders dot sort underscore values and specify the column by which you want to sort profit and then you have another argument saying ascending is equals to true let's make it false because we want we have the rank also in the descending order and let's take first few observation all right if i go down and uh, so here is the maximum profit 27220 and if i go towards right by scrolling it from here then we have the rank 1 2 3 4 5 so on and so forth so that's about how you can first of all define the rank for each of the column and then sort it by the uh, these values then you have a couple of other parameters as well say for example uh, ascending sorry uh, if I go up a little bit because this is sort values parameter all right where are you let me up okay so here we have uh, figured it out the rank by profit saying rank ascending is equals to false so this is one parameter but uh, if I press shift tab tab you will see a couple of other parameters so first parameter is the axis is equals to zero that means this ranking is getting applied on the rows so if you see this is the value or this is the rank for the first row this is the rank for the second row so this is by default axis is equals to zero so rows are getting ranked whereas if you want by column let's say this column and then this column you want to compare it by column and then want to get a rank then you need to specify the axis is equals to one okay then second argument is about method is equals to average and uh, basically it is that uh, if two values are having if the two rows are having the same value then the average method will be used to rank those two rows but you have couple of other val parameter values like min max first and tens and you can have you know basically experiment with that and it's pretty straightforward as you can see average is basically average rank of group minimum is lowest rank in group high maximum is highest rank in group and so on and so forth so you can experiment it because condition may change and you may want maybe min max you know based on that ranking if you want numeric only is equals to none because uh, generally we want to apply the ranking is equal on the numeric data but none indicates that even Apart from uh, numeric, uh, it also consider the character data by converting into a numeric and then you know applying the sorting. So by default it is none, and I will just suggest to keep it that way because mostly you will indicate it by the column name how you want to sort it. Then you have the option of any underscore option is equals to keep. So this is helpful in scenarios if you are if your data set is having the any values, and in that case you have three options if i'm not wrong so if i go down yeah keep top and bottom so keep is basically simply saying keeping the any values where they are if we let's say specify keep is equals to top 
then in that case smallest rank in case of ascending and in case of bottom we will say uh, the output will be smallest rank if descending so that means they will get the any value will get the smallest rank or in this case the smallest when you are ascending it so you can experiment with that and get the data in your desired format and ascending we have already seen and the final parameter that we have is ECT the percentage and it's simply compute percentage rank of data right so so basically wherever the highest data value is so highest profit is will get the highest percentage and then the lower one for the subsequent values so that's about the rank method that you have for the data frames in pandas and uh, to do the ranking in your data set. so that's pretty much all i have for you and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic